View Pure and Write Functions. In this video, we're going to discuss this section of a function's declaration. Now, sometimes you might see functions being a pure function, a view function, and sometimes it doesn't have these declarations. And this is what we're going to discuss right now. Now, let's start off by looking at a write function. For this, I'm going to add a variable, a uint, and this is going to be my num. It is public and it has a value of one. Now, to define a function that is going to be write, we start with the function keyword and we give it a name. I'm going to call this write func, and it's going to have my brackets and curly brackets as well. Now we can make this public because we want to be able to call this. And this time I'm not adding view or pure. This is because this function will actually change my num and maybe set it to a new value too. Now, whenever a function changes a state variable, state variables are any variables declared outside of functions directly in the contract and is stored on the blockchain. When a function wants to alter a state variable, it does not have pure or view because it's changing state and it's considered to be a write function. Alternatively, we can also pass in a new number. Maybe we say new num and instead of just setting it to a hard coded two, we can say use this parameter and this is perfectly fine as well. Now it's a bit more dynamic. So if we pass in this new num, we get to set my number, which is a state variable, to a different value. This is known as the write function. Now let's take a look at a function that is a view function. So I'm going to say, let's declare a view func, and we'll make it public so we can call it. The function itself is going to return the value of my num, the state variable over here. Notice that we are returning it and not changing it. In order to return something, we do need to say this function will be returning, so returns uint, which is the uh, data type. Now, we'll get to returns in just a second. Notice there's this warning. It says that the function state mutability can be restricted to view. And that is true because we are not changing any state. So this is considered to be our view function. So far, we have a write function and this alters the state variables and we have a view function which doesn't alter it but needs the state variables to read some data and return it to us. And now we're going to look at a pure function. Now, a pure function is a very clean function. It doesn't need any help from state variables. It is its own little thing. A pure function can also have visibility. So I'm going to say this is going to be public. And now all I'm going to do is say this function will return maybe two plus five. And that's it. Now at the end, we also need to have our return. So let's just add returns a uint. And now you'll see that the warning is going to tell us that we can restrict this to be pure. And let's go ahead and do this. And this is because, as you can see, it has no reference to a state variable where it doesn't change anything. It just simply returns a value to us. Now, what will happen if instead of 2 plus 5, I say, what is 2 plus my num, our state variable? It's going to say there's an error and you have declared this as pure. But instead, you need to do this as view. So we'll need to change this to view because we are using our state variables. We are not changing it. We are simply reading from it because we want to return what the value is of 2 plus my num. However, let's go back and change this back to pure because I also want to show you that you can also have, let's say, num1 up here and let's declare another uint and this will be num2. You can also have some parameters so we can say instead use num1 and add num2. So now we're just simply passing parameters, but it is still considered as a pure function because it has nothing to do with any state variables. It doesn't change it and it also doesn't read from it. Another scenario that you might find yourself in, if you have a function, I'm going to call this my func, and this function will be public. And let's say, I don't know what 
I want to declare this, but I want to declare this maybe as a pure function. And I say that this function is going to call the view function. Now, if I do this, you'll see there's an error. And that's because this pure function cannot call a view function because it's going to read some data from the storage variable. So we'll need to change this into view as well. So just know that whatever happens inside the function's logic, for it to be pure, it cannot touch any storage variables. Now lastly, we see this payable over here. Now we've seen what payable does. It enables an address to receive some ether. So whenever you want to send some ether to an account, whether it's a user account or a contract, it needs to be a payable account. Now sometimes in functions, the function will send that ether that's sent to the contract. But in order to send ether to a function, it needs to be declared as payable. Now you cannot declare, let's say this function would send some ether for example. You cannot declare this view and payable. This simply will not work. It can only be one of the two. So in this case, we'll need to remove view. So now we will be able to send some ether to this function. But now notice what happens over here. Because we are calling this view function, which is now payable, in a function that is view, we can see that it will change state. Because yes, sending ether changes state, so we need to provision for that. So a solution is to then take the view of this function to make sure that it can write. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy this contract and I just want to show you the different colors. Here we can see because we make this view function, which is not a view anymore, but payable, we made it payable, we see it's red, meaning that it can accept some ether when we call this function. Also, functions that can change the state is orange and then the blue ones are just the normal view or pure functions. Now, I don't want to confuse you, so I'm going to change this back to view and we'll discuss payable later in this course. But just know that you get write, read, which is view, and also pure functions in Solidity.